everyone, I'm Eileen Fox and welcome back to my channel. For this week's challenge, we were told that CND recently introduced the theme of Nailandia. We were asked to share our interpretation of Nailandia using 2D and 3D artwork on 10 tips. When I heard the word Nailandia, I immediately thought of fun, excitement and celebration. And what is more fun and exciting to me than seasonal nail art? I love celebrating each season of my clients' nails through art. I've divided the tips into groups of two and created one technique that is salon ready and used one technique that is elevated for competition style nails. And I know what you're saying, but I lean. Four seasons, two nails. That's only eight. Well, you'll have to stay tuned. Spring is the start of wedding season in my salon. We travel up and down the Okanagan offering bridal hair and makeup, and of course wedding nails. These 3D acrylic roses are a perfect accent. What says spring wedding more than lace? Use one coat of cream puff and one coat of clear acrylic. Sculpt your lace with a dotting tool. Use plexi gel in clear to create your wedding band. Also use Plexi Gel to add your gems and fruity roses. What says summer better than beach nails? Mix blue eyeshadow with Plexi Gel 50-50 and apply in a medium viscosity so you can squish it to make waves. When doing this on a real client, make sure you don't apply it too close to the cuticle. My ski boat was one of my favorites. The base of this boat is an upside down nail tip. Sculpt with white acrylic, file, paint, and use your favorite shellac colors. I use sangria at sunset, and glitter of course to top coat. My beach ball was made with white acrylic, and the technique of making the ball is coming up. My oyster was shaped using Play-Doh and covered in Plexi Gel. Paint with shellac and Gala Girl. Add highlights and shadows by lightening and darkening Gala Girl with white or black. Use Brisa Gel in white for the outer rim of your oyster shell. Now for our pearl. Dip your dotting tool in the clear gel and swirl in the light to keep it even. Paint in cream puff and of course, pearl top coat. Use Brisa Top Gloss to place your gems. And now for my favorite season, fall. What says fall more than pumpkins and a turkey? Sculpt your turkey and pumpkins with white acrylic and paint with shellac. I am a gel nail tech, so I really pushed myself hard this week using a lot of acrylic. And of course, I included some plaid. After all, I'm Canadian, eh? Sugar nails and sweater nails are a must-have in winter. Can you guess what I used to sculpt my globe and my beach ball? That's right, it's paraffin. You can find it in any salon. This is my trick to creating a perfect sphere and it's really easy to get out. Use 70% alcohol to clean it out and top gloss to make it shiny and see-through. To see how I made my snowman that's inside my globe, check out my TikTok video. I will leave a link in the comments. Cover the base of your snow globe with acrylic. 
make sure you leave a hole big enough to put water and glitter on the inside. Attached to your nail tip with wet acrylic, make sure you add glitter while the acrylic is still wet. Don't forget to make little footprints after a how did little Steve get inside his snow globe. Surprise! This is the fifth season. I look forward to NTNA every season. The three D letters are acrylic and shellac. Here's my secret ingredient for sugaring this nail. It's a complex one. Genuine coffee grounds and glitter. What I've been living off of for the last five weeks. Also a snack for later. And there you have it, Nailandia in the form of nail seasons. I hope you find my Nailandia fun, exciting, and worth celebrating all year round. Thanks so much for watching, and thank you CND and Nails Magazine for sponsoring this challenge. Don't forget to like and subscribe, leave a comment below as to your favorite season, and most importantly, vote, vote, vote. I will leave a link in the comments when the voting becomes available. Thanks so much for watching. Bye!